we will see three types of coordinate systems now which are cartesian how to point a how to indicate a point in three types of co coordinate systems one is cartesian and second one is cylindrical and third one is spherical and we know the cartesian system which is x y and z we call it as a right handed coordinate system why right handed means if i take x on this axis if i keep my right hand like this this fingers will go in this way this will become y and this thumb will point outside the paper which is z similarly you can write this as if it is y then it will be z and it will be x similarly if it is z then if you take right hand it is x and it is y now if we go for cylindrical then in this is the point is x y z suppose somewhere here a point is there the distance from x and y you will get x y z in cylindrical coordinates if we let me take this as z axis the point is represented as rho phi and z let me explain you what is rho phi and z if this is z from right hand rule it is x and it is y and this plane is x y plane and some point in the space if i take some point in the space then if i draw a projection of that point on x y plane on x y plane then the distance between horizon to that projection of the point in x y plane we call it as rho and the angle between x axis and the position vector of the projection of the point we call it as phi and z is same as in cartesian coordinates and now if we go to spherical coordinates spherical coordinates then the point is represented by r theta and phi now if you observe a sphere suppose if this is this is z this is y this is x then if a point is here then r is radial distance from origin to that point itself this is r and here theta is called azimuth phi is called azimuthal angle or horizontal angle and the position vector from origin to the point is this if you take an ang if take angle of this position vector with z axis it is called theta and phi is same as cylindrical coordinates thank you friends to want this kind of crisp concepts please subscribe my channel